Hi there, my name is Sapphire and I'm from the ITV Chop and Block show. It's all about cooking show. Anyway, I want to show you today the Oxo Good Grip Burger Press today and it's very, very easy to use, very simple, it's great and it makes all different sizes of burgers. There's three different sizes and it shows you on the side which one that you actually want. So it's got it in sizes there and grams here so yeah today i'm making a quarter pounder burger yay so basically it comes in four parts it's got the body it's got the lifter which fits there and of course lifts out and in and we've also got the handle and in the handle we have the bit there that actually is very magical because it makes the burgers stuffed. So what you do is you do that and it leaves a groove in there so it doesn't bubble up when it's grilling. So that's great and you can stuff it with anything that you fancy. So yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Or you can make a flat burger and you see, it's very easy. Dishwasher safe, of course, the top bit of the dishwasher. So. Yeah, I think that's great and uh, we're going to make some burgers now. So, let's crack on with this burger. And basically what I've done is I've separated all my mince, and it's beef mince I'm using today. And what I usually like to do if I'm doing a burger um, is I would put chilli flakes and salt and season it. So this is what I like through my burgers, a nice hot chilli burger. And in the middle, I, I'm just looking for the plain cheese, you know, so mature cheese, and that's all I'm looking for. I could put other fancy things in there. Anything you want, you can put in there and you can use it as your filling. But basically, I have weighed them out for 110 grams each because that's going to be the size of the quarter burger. So it tells you on the side. So you can't go wrong. So what size of burger you want? goes with the size of the gram so you cannot go wrong it's very simple to use so let's crack on yep this is what we do slightly press this down and you notice i'm using the dimple and this is where i'm gonna do a stuffed burger so what we do is we do this and gently just twist it so that it looks like it's all going to be the same size so you just twist it you don't need to put much effort on this and of course you've got the lifter here to help you in at the end you've made your burger. So let's have a little look and see what happens here. All right, yep, yeah, we're getting there. Maybe I should have put maybe a little bit more in of the mince, but don't worry, you could do this part yourself. Just pat it down a little bit. And that's what we'll do. What we'll do is, I wonder if it would work better if I'd done this. You could do this. There we go. And that's great. So we will put that. And you know, I'm just learning about it myself here. So don't worry about it. And we're going to make the middle bit. And just do that. Just make that little groove in the middle. There we go. How much effort needed for that really, to be quite honest. And let's put that there, because this is the middle bit of it. And of course, what we have is we've got the next bit, the top layer, because we're going to seal it all in. It's going to look good. So hopefully this is enough here that I weighed out. And we'll try this again. And um, we'll have to do this. Very easy to use. There we are. There we are. Clipping easily. And gently place the burger so that it settles on. The burger at the bottom there we are and don't forget before you start you chill your mince because that's important because you don't want your mince to be too soft and at the end when you've made your burger put it into the fridge for about 30 minutes and it'll be delicious when you cook it so there we go there we go that's pretty good i'm happy with that yep out it comes in there we go and it's easy to lift. There we are. Look at that. That is a big burger. Ooh. Wow. There we are. That is a big, huge burger. 
I'm quite happy with that and I'm going to crack on and make more because I'm a little bit hungry and I think my cat is too.